So let's do a short discussion and result in here. So basically as you can see all the weapons perform very similar. The difference is not really that much like maybe some of them a little bit bigger but all of them is very very small like difference itself. So it's in the end it's not really a big deal but if you want to main maxing or become specific about it then it's actually depend of what it's your need because some of these weapons provide some pros and cons and in here what I want to state. So let's start with the Harbinger Dawn. The pros about this weapon that this weapon is very accessible, it's 3 stars, very easy to make R5, so everyone pretty much can get this. And this is actually a good thing and the next a good part about this weapon is that this gap between Harbinger of Dawn and 5 star weapon, let's say Jade Cutter, it's not much. It's just very small gap and that's actually a good thing. I mean you use 3 star weapon that's already similar with the 5 star, that's a huge advantage actually. The cons about this weapon first. It's hard to maintain the effect, especially if you use Chiores on field, it's even like harder if you don't have shield, cause once it's below 90%, all your crit rate is gone. So it's kinda like hard to maintain on some situations, especially aggressive enemy. And the second is that it will not work well with Furina team, so most of the case like Navia team that you pair with Furina, it will not work. Because Furina will continuously drain your HP, so it's very hard for you to kinda maintain 90% of your HP itself. And the second weapon is Jade Cutter, this is 5 star weapon, the pros about this weapon is that this weapon is very good in general, it's kinda all around result type of weapon because the skill gives you high damage also, the burst also pretty high and also the infusion also pretty good, give you a lot of crit rate, so pretty much give you a good stats and general result of your Chiori, so if you want to use your Chiori mostly as a on fielder and both as off fielder, this weapon can be suit because it's just best or any situation like on fielder or off fielder. And second, this is work also for all any type of team format, so you don't need to worry like Harbinger down. And for the cons for Jade Cutter is that first, this is faster weapon, all people have it, so it's kind of premium. And the second is that for the faster weapon, the improvement is not that much considering like the difference with three star weapon and faster weapon is just so small. I don't think it's quite like justified. And the last one is Sinabar Spinal. The pros about this weapon is that this weapon gives the best result in terms of sub DPS or as a off fielder, the one that you want to utilize only to use the doll itself. Because yeah, you cannot trigger every single time, but the moment you try to count the average, it's basically already a little bit higher than Primordial Jit Cutter. Unless you have a very bad RNG, then that's possible can be a little bit worse. But in a general case that I count, it is always a little bit better. So in terms of all field result, it's actually best. And the second is that it's work with any team. It's not like Harbinger of Dawn. So this one of course can work with any like team like Navia or Furina, something like that. The cons about this weapon is that this weapon is even only meaning you miss, you already miss, you cannot obtain anymore. So this is considered all ancient relic because it's over two years ago. So a new player cannot even get this. So yeah, it's not really accessible. And the last one, if you want to use this weapon for Chiori as an on filter, you want to utilize a like main DPS, and this is not might be the best for you because the burst and infusion damage is the lowest among all. So I suggest if you want to use as on filter, use other weapon compared to this. So yeah, that's everything about these three weapons. So overall, if you want me to simplify, if you want to use Harbinger Rom, the best suitable for you to use it when you use in Mono Geo team like Ito Mono Geo team. 
for primordial jade cutter you just pretty much can put this weapon and it can work for anything this one i think the best in terms of confidence because you don't have to things like here and there even if you want to use her as on filler it can work but as a cinnabar spindle if you just care to make her as a pure sub dps or off filler then just put cinnabar spindle because yeah that's the best weapon for her